Hey, what's going on guys? So this is a bit of a different video. Basically what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be showcasing all of the, what I would consider important NPCs in Coromon. Now I've done individual guides for each of these. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be kind of compiling them together. So you have a one-stop shop for the major characters within the game that you could either pay to get you to do something specific for them or are just of note. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoy. Both of these NPCs can be located on Donor Island, the island where you face off against the very first Titan, inside the trainer hub on the second floor. The guy on the left will charge you a thousand gold to change traits to a new random trait that your specific Coromon is able of having. Some Coromon get two, some get three, some even get four, so you'll get a random trait that is not the current one you have. My recommendation is to save before talking to this guy to soft reset so you don't waste too much money. Now the guy on the right is actually really important because he will take a Coromon that you own and raise its potential by a minimum of one. This can only be done once per Coromon and will cost 2,500 gold. Now, much like the trait changer, you can also soft reset this NPC. Again, you must do so before talking to him, then take your thousand steps and then see if your Coromon's potential has increased. All Coromon will get at least one stat increase. Coromon whom are 19 have a higher than usual chance of increasing their potential to 21 with 16 rolls. So it's also probably a good idea to keep those in mind as well. Firstly, make sure you go to the option menu that is located on the title screen and enable custom spinners. Otherwise, the game will just show the ones that are the default. Once you've done this, you can head over to Derudic. On the second floor of the trainer hub, you'll find this NPC that can switch your Coromon spinner for a cost that ranges based on whether or not it's an upgraded spinner type. So switching to a more expensive spinner costs more money and the opposite is true for a cheaper one. Much like a lot of NPCs within the game that offer you this type of stuff, you're gonna have to take a thousand steps and then come back and it'll be done. In order to do this, you're gonna need to progress far enough in the story to reach Pawbury, the town directly after the Soggy Swamp. In this town, if you head into the trainer hub upstairs, you'll find this guy who will give you a little exposition about these two machines. Basically, the one on the left will reset your Coromon to the way it was when you first caught it, dubbed a soft reboot. This is for the more casual players where you just want to fix up your Coromon for cheaper, but you're not looking for a full min-max or whatever. On the right, you have the hard reboot, which will fully reset all the potential points the Coromon would have from its birth before even caught in the wild. This will fully allow you to customize its stats as if you obtained it at level one. The one on the left, because it is less of a reboot, is less expensive, while the one on the right is more expensive. Basically what you're going to do, and you need the burn module for this, which is story mandatory. So if you don't have that item, you're not far enough. But once you do, head over to this location and you're going to burn these hidden bushes until you're able to enter this house. There's some weird witch lady here and a pot where you could put your squidly into to evolve. So what you're going to do is from the ice town, you're going to head north. Head west outside of the town. <laughs> then when you get all the way to the end here, there's this new NPC. He was added pretty late into development. He's going to initiate a quest. And this quest is basically going to be trade two potent sense and you'll get a free perfect Coromon. So he says, please, a couple more potent sense here. Take these. Fantastic. With these potent sense, I'll be able to whatever. Okay. So you give him two. So, and then you get three to choose from, okay? So you either get a Pergi, a Lunar Pup, or an Atogi. You can only have one. You can't trade a more potent sense, so choose wisely. I'm choosing Lunar Pup because, I mean, who wouldn't, right? So, <laughs> right at the beginning of the game, you are given a Patter Bit to go alongside the starter you choose. Patter Bit, while a pretty common Coromon, is very powerful, especially when you evolve it. Now, it has a special evolution requirement where you must go to this house on Donor Island and speak to this guy. He'll upgrade your Patterbit into Pitterbite, but not all as well as he gave you a pirated version of the software. You'll have to head to the trainer hub where the nurse tells you that it's pirated and then go back. He'll devolve your Patterbit and then charge you a thousand gold for an official evolution. Once you do this, your Patterbit will be evolved permanently and everything will be good to go. You can take any Patterbit to this location. 